Another day, another platform. And now we are faced with the biggest one yet, which would prove daunting to those who just randomly hit the die. But no, no, we are those who are learned in the art, in the art of HO. Because we, we hold the power to proceed. Since I'm at full health, we'll just go straight on to what I assume is another boss. Agnes, that shouldn't even be possible. You died. You are dead. This is... Okay, hold on. Someone has to retcon this because I am I'm, I'm seeing an inconsistency here. Call... Call the feds. This is wrong. Oh, boy. You know how all the other bosses are pushovers? You can consider Agnes the boss boss of this level because he is not a pushover at all. Maybe it's because I'm just not used to Nero anymore. Maybe I've been spoiled by the Trickster and the Royal Guard and all this stuff. Maybe I'm missing Dante a little bit right now, but not as much. I'll never admit it to you. One way or another, Agnes is a party pooper. He is not. He's not easy this time around. At all. God, he's so happy with his throwing his little minions all over the place. He is, once again, the Dante version. Don't let it be fooled. Don't let it fool you that we're in his Nero version room. No, no. He'll still do all the things he could do with Dante. Oh, wow, he's weakened already. I'm liking this. But don't let this get you too confident. There's still plenty of fight left, and he has a lot of fight in him. Though this particular move takes a lot of life off of him. Awesome. As soon as he gusts wind like that, he'll go right into the middle of the arena to uh, try to drag health out of you, so be prepared for that. Having a charged shot in the wings is a good way to, uh, to cancel that. Also, no matter what he's doing, um, it, be it summoning something or getting ready to uh, steal your health, Either with this or the uh, the move that we just stopped, if you throw, if you hit him with one of his minions' attacks using the Devil Bringer, it will cancel him out of it. Now this isn't going to stop him from ever doing it again, but it will stop him that particular time. Ah, Cutlass, which is good. You kind of wanna you wanna interrupt him from doing things as, as often as possible because everything he does is a detriment to you, whether it connects or not. It's going to be a problem eventually. See, look at this. He's throwing fireballs at me while the basilisks are still on the ground throwing fireballs at me and they're gladii all over the place dive-bombing at me. Do I need this? I don't. I don't need this. This is excessive. This goes beyond, above and beyond what is necessary. This is probably one of the, the only boss fights in Dante Must Die difficulty that I find truly challenging. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I'm probably going to get comments saying, Hey, you didn't do this when you were supposed to. Did you know? Did you know that... I, I understand. I understand that I miss out on a lot of things. I don't know every trick there is. But we get there. We get there as a family. We do it together. For that, hey, no touchy. For that, I appreciate you guys. And you're weakened again. This is going to be the final... Concerto. Assuming this kills you. See, this time I was smart enough to be a uh, devil trigger. Oh, you're not dead yet. Alright, well, bye. Ha 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 that felt good. Oh, shut up. Die already. Make me come over there. I will. I'm not afraid to. Alright, well, we've got that out of the way. We're now on the final level. As you'll notice, there is no die. This is the the end of the line. We've made it to the top. All that's left is to progress and... Uh, okay, that can't break. And that, as they say, is that. Next time on Devil May Cry 4. Hey, kid! <laughs> you should see what I'm going through! Guess we're in the same boat, then.